you're eating less, moving more, and somehow still gaining weight. What if I told you your fat cells might be gaslighting you? And there's this one little special hormone that's responsible. In this video, I'm going to explain what that hormone is, why it could be sabotaging your fat loss efforts, and what you can actually do to reset your body's ability to feel full again. This is the weight loss hormone nobody's talking about, but it's time we change that. And do me a favor, stick around because toward the end, I'll reveal one sneaky lifestyle habit even some healthy people do that's silently blocking this hormone and keeping them stuck in the weight loss hamster wheel. So what is this mysterious hormone I'm talking about? It's leptin. Leptin is a hormone mate by your fat cells. That's right, your fat is more than just an energy storage unit. It's actually part of the endocrine system. Your fat literally speaks to your brain using hormones and leptin is its favorite language. So what's leptin's job? To tell your brain, hey, we've got enough energy storage so you can stop eating now. It's your built-in appetite suppressor. But here's an important point. People with obesity tend to have more leptin not less. That should mean they feel full, right? But they don't. That's because they're not listening to the hormone anymore. It's like leptin's knocking at the door, but the brain changed the locks. That's called leptin resistance. And when that happens, your body stays hungry, even when it's full. It's like trying to drive with a GPS that keeps rerouting you into a brick wall. Now let's bring ghrelin to the party. The hunger hormone. Ghrelin is secreted by the stomach and says, it's time to eat. In a healthy, balanced body, ghrelin and leptin do this elegant little dance. You get hungry, you eat, you feel full, you stop. Simple. But when leptin resistance shows up, that dance is not working so well. Ghrelin is yelling, eat everything, and leptin's trying to whisper. Maybe you should slow down, but no one hears leptin because your brain is ignoring it. This is why you can feel ravenous even right after a meal. The signal to stop just never arrives. So you may be asking what causes leptin resistance. Let's break it down doc style, but I'll keep it digestible, pun intended. Number one, chronic inflammation. When you eat a diet full of seed oils, sugar, and ultra processed junk, your body becomes inflamed. That inflammation blocks leptin signal. It's like someone threw static on the radio station that your brain is trying to tune into. Number two, too much fructose. I'm not talking about an occasional apple. I'm talking about high fructose corn syrup hiding in everything from soda to ketchup. Fructose can increase triglycerides, which guess what? Can block leptin from entering the brain. Number three, poor sleep. Just one bad night of sleep. Leptin goes down, ghrelin goes up. You wake up craving pancakes, muffins, and emotional support Pop-Tarts. Your brain is literally chemically wired to sabotage your diet when you're tired. Number four, high triglycerides. As I mentioned, these fats can block the passage of leptin through the blood-brain barrier. So even if you have enough leptin, it never makes it to the command center. Number five, yo-yo dieting. Each time you crash diet, your body panics and your metabolism slows. Leptin drops down, ghrelin skyrockets, and when you start eating again, your body stores even more fat, preparing for the next famine. It's like metabolic PTSD. Your body's thermostat is broken. It's either set to Antarctica or the Sahara, and never that sweet 72 degrees. So how do you know if leptin resistance is your issue? Let's go through some red flags. You're constantly hungry even after eating. You have intense cravings, especially for carbs. You gain weight around the belly. You feel tired, sluggish, or have brain fog. You've hit a weight loss plateau despite effort. If that's you, that isn't a moral failure. It's a hormonal misfire. You're not broken, your biochemistry is off. Now for the good news. Leptin resistance can be reversed. You just need the right approach. Number one, eat real food. Whole foods rich in protein and fat help you feel full. Stabilize blood sugar and reduce inflammation. Think foods like eggs, beef, salmon, not foods like cereal, meal replacement bars, or bagels. Number two, intermittent fasting. When you take breaks between meals, 
I'm talking about real breaks, you give leptin a chance to normalize. It's like giving your hormone receptors a break from constant buzzing. Number three, prioritize sleep. Your leptin regenerates at night. Treat sleep like medicine. No bedtime scrolling. You need deep restorative sleep to regulate hormones. Number four, lower inflammation. Cut out seed oils, refined sugar, and processed grains. Add anti-inflammatory foods like omega-3 fish or avocado. And for carnivores, beef is one of the most anti-inflammatory foods you can eat. Number five, manage stress. High cortisol levels from chronic stress can interfere with leptin signaling. So breathe. Meditate. Walk outside. Laugh more. It's therapeutic and metabolic. Number six, cold exposure and movement. Cold showers, walks in cold weather, and resistance training can boost leptin sensitivity. Your body responds well to small, intentional stressors. Here's some other interesting things about leptin. Leptin doesn't just control appetite, it also regulates fertility, especially in women. If leptin's too low or too high, cycles can be disrupted. Leptin also affects the thyroid, your immune system, and even brain function. It's like that quiet coworker who is running a whole office behind the scenes. So let's bring it home. If you've been fighting hunger, fatigue, and stubborn belly fat, don't just blame your calories. Look at your hormones and leptin is one of the most underrated players in the game. You can reset your hunger cues, restore balance, and finally stop feeling like your body's working against you. You've got this. And if this video helped you, tap that like button and don't forget to subscribe. And do me a favor, share this with someone who's stuck in a weight loss rut. They might just need to hear about leptin. And if you want to go deeper, check out my video on how to get started on a low carb diet. And until next time, continue to be safe, be well, and let's all continue to protect our personal nest.